I literally got out of bed to make this video. My most important video. The worst idea he got out of bed. <laughs> you imagine that? His wife's like laying yeah, like, he's, he's got a very attractive <laughs> wife, you know? Like, 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 you know what? I can't be here with you. I got to get up and do this. This! I've been working 14 hours a day. Every, 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 you give me 20 reasons why this video doesn't need to happen. Whether it's YouTube, whether it's helping Steven Crowder, which I think we're finally in a good spot there. I'm on fumes. Like, <laughs> fucking hero. Pure gas. You know, I knew guys that work 20 hours a day in a fucking rack for like weeks straight and they didn't sound this fucked. <laughs> <laughs> this decision, this minute, this moment is so important that I'm willing to F up my entire week. I'm uploading a video at 11 o'clock at night. On a They'll get my passion. I'll understand my passion. That's freaking Sunday night, which means my first notification tomorrow is it going to even come out till I don't know when. I'm blowing my entire notification window for this video. What is he That's like weird that? YouTube talk. I have no no idea. I don't do that. I don't know anyone that does that. It's, it's, I need some grass talk. Is what I, I mean. It's it's made, like his notification is going to die out because it's late at night on a Sunday. You know, he's so a T like, I mean, look, I have no doubt he works hard. I have no doubt in my motherfucking mind that he works hard. But who cares? So do a lot of people. <laughs> you get three notifications today. The fourth vids don't notify. Oh, is that? I mean, is that is we that wouldn't know that. No, I don't, don't pay do attention that. to that shit. I told you he's a harder worker than me. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely better YouTuber I am. If you watch my videos. If you value free speech, I value free, free speech. Therefore, I watch your videos because free speech will fall apart with Dr. Church. I mean, I, I know true. I, I, I guarantee you, Vegas is probably the baddest motherfucker in, in the military that I've run into, period. Coincidentally, I run into on YouTube, which is saying some shit. I knew some bad motherfuckers when I was in. And I don't think he feels like he, he he's protected free speech as much as, <laughs> as Jeremy feels responsible for what I, I don't think he, he was like, like, I guarantee if you ask him that, what does it make you feel to be on the front line of protecting free speech? I guarantee you, Megan would look at what did you say? <laughs> I guarantee fucking to you. Now, while you're listening to me on your phone or on your computer yes. to open a new window, okay? Or if you are, I'm going to keep it short. I don't care about hitting the admin's double ad rate. Listen, what? create a Twitter account. Follow Elon Musk. You don't have to follow him, him even. Get him some. He needs followers. Because he's asking, should I step down his head of Twitter? I will abide by the results of this poll. And he's given us six hours right now. Five hours by the time you see it. Too late. He lost. There's 11.5 million votes in. I'm calling my fellow content creator, Sydney Watson, Count Ankula, Baring. Ooh, did you see um Mr. Beast's little comment? If you're going to keep doing business like this, yes. If I was Mr. Beast, I wouldn't have made that move. I don't know why. Seems kind of crazy. Sargon of Akkad, Carl Benjamin. Uh-oh. Got Sargon. If they let this well, window bitch. pass without throwing their hat in the ring, Without getting out of bed. Imagine being a construction worker or a plumber coming home to unwind a hard day's work and watching Jeremy say, I work hard too. <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty sure he does. I think Jeremy's a workaholic and that's what makes him so annoying. I, I, I do. I do. I do believe that. That's why he's so fucking irritating because he's constantly moving. I, I think he's a very hardworking guy. That's the impression I get. Is making videos hard? No, I, I, I doubt that's the only thing he does. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you what evidence I have. When um, I think Nick was making a video on him, somebody sent me uh, the channels he was involved in before like a list of them. Somebody hated them. And I don't think it was any, I, I think Dave saw it too. It was like 15 different YouTube channels. One of them was like a YouTube channel about the claw, like an arcade that comes down and reaches and then doesn't grab the fuck. <laughs> he was like, I'm an expert. Like, I, I, like I, this is my newest addition to my claw <laughs> arcade. I shit you not. That was like, that's one channel. He was like going to be a YouTuber. It was going to happen for him. Like, no joke. I have no doubt. I think he's a workaholic, more than likely. How do you think he pulled that far? I think, yeah, how do you think he pulled that wife of his? He's got money in the bank. I bet he had money prior to being on here. Guarantee it. I think he's got, you know, probably millions now, but I, I guarantee you, I guarantee this works hard. He's just it's like there's working hard like Elon that he he kind of like kind of like goes through life and it looks like he's cruising through it and there's working hard like Jeremy where you can see the impact <laughs> you know I'm sure you, can. <laughs> you really can see the impact it's too funny throw some alcohol in there imagine watching this video on divorce court think about that <laughs> and let me tell you something these bitches will show the video on divorce court they will show it to the judge not that, not that I'm saying that Jeremy's got some kind of problem with his marriage God I hope he doesn't I've been there but bitches will do that if they want to fuck out they want fucking out and when usually when they want out they're not like i don't want to see you ever again no they want the shit they left behind and your shit too i'm 40 years old uh -oh. i'm tired me too i all of my viewers know that i have worked more than any man should work in a week this week between my own channel and helping crowder 
But if you don't get out of bed as a fellow content creator, if you don't wake up, <laughs> fight for this. I don't ever want to hear your freaking opinion ever again. No! How about freedom of speech? You don't vote. You don't get a say. You can't complain. I'm not saying I want Elon Musk to run Twitter forever. I am not even saying that I didn't think Elon was going to run it forever. But there is five hours left in this poll. What I want you to do is go to Elon Musk's Twitter account follow, uh, and vote no on should I step down. And secondarily, you follow. You imagine being this much of an ego baby. Who fucking cares? I mean, you really don't think this I'm guy. Elon, yes. You think Elon put his whole fucking career on the line for this, this poll? He pr look. I, I should step down. I'd abide by the results of the poll. Well, he made himself so fucking popular. He's definitely going to lose his poll with the, the policy that came out that nobody actually read. And he's already, he he's had a successor for weeks. It's 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 beyond fucking, he, he was leading either way. It's beyond obvious. Jesus Christ. I mean, like, he had become the richest man in the world. Unless he's totally insane. I mean, unless I got the wrong read and Elon's just like, you know. Uh, uh, he's just, autistic. So he, he's, is, he is autistic. That's true. Good. But he's. He's, a, but, yeah. he's, he's the good. He's the good kind of autistic, though. Yeah, I was going to say he has known for troll. He's got the good. He, he look, 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 look. He can do a little more than count the toothpicks as they fall off the table at the diner. All right, he's got the good autism. He's got a soul, though. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't, have a, doesn't have a difference between good and evil. <laughs> I need you to remember this moment in history. I need you to remember this moment when all of my fellow free speech content creators were in bed while they weren't paying attention i wasn't in bed i just woke up the most important decision in free speech online in history you know i will give him one more thing i've talked to him well, offline bitch. he has helped other creators with free speech type issues and he does fight for you these people think that taylor reds and Nita sarkeesian and vosh are going to assume control of twitter the conclusion of the yeah you think good point yeah i i i don't know i, I have no idea i think he just got drunk i don't know well, this show? But i can't imagine like he's probably had a good evening he's had a few i'd probably had a lot half a bottle of whiskey by yeah. the fucking sound He's, He's in gone. bed, laying next to his wife. He's like, you know what? Oh, fuck this. I've got to get out of bed, make a video, man. Do you ever do that though? Do you, do you ever do that? Like, um, if you get really drunk and you start like giving speeches to yourself and like you start seeing the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 that's what happened here. You know, <laughs> well, the perfect example of why the fuck alcohol and the internet don't fucking me. You say something <laughs> retarded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've done that before, but I've, I've never flipped off. I, I've never. I've gotten drunk on stream as part of the fucking bed, but I've never flipped that shit on. But I do when I'm alone. I, I when I'm alone, I do get these things in my head. I'm one of those people that thinks. Of life. course, you get wasted and watch some inspirational clip on YouTube. Yeah, like, and all of a like, sudden, it's, it, it seems reasonable. You see these guys working out with these muscles and like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to wake up at 4 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And that's what happened to, that's what happened to him. If they didn't wake up to do a Twitter video, oh, if they didn't man. do an Instagram video, it's if they so didn't do a TikTok, I don't ever want to hear from them again about caring about freedom of speech, about caring about the silencing of conservatives. How much you want to bet Dankula's laughing at him? Any matter, I know he won't go public. I guarantee he's Dankula's laughing at him. Jack Posobiec, where are you? Tim Pool, where I are you? I don't ever want to hear one single word from any of you. This poll is live for 12 hours. We're in the final five hours. I'm 40, I'm tired, I'm sweaty, Ridiculous. I'm fat, I'm overweight. I'm not long for this planet. <laughs> What the fuck? Poor quarter got one foot in the grave. The war speech has really took its toll. Oh my god. Look at Mikey Perk. What the hell? I'm 42. I feel fucked. The war on free speech has took its toll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, think he is? you knew it was going to have casualties, Joey. Do you think it went through his head because it was a long pause? All right, let, stop tape. Let, let's start this again, all right? Yeah. No, he kept going. But freedom of speech, yeah. at least really some semblance this. of it. Keemstar. Some semblance it, of a fair and balanced playing field. I want Democrats to have their voices heard. I want liberals to have their voices heard. I want far leftists. Yes. To have their voices heard. <laughs> but if you are not waking up and creating a Twitter account right now to vote no to tell Elon Musk to not step down on Twitter, you don't care as much as I do. He's got a third three point two k dislikes on this video. Well, guess do, fuck do, you, do you think they all? I voted yes, so go fuck yourself. <laughs> 
And I'm, spo I'm speaking mostly to content creators because I think my viewers probably already voted no. If you didn't, please do. It takes like 30 seconds to create a Twitter account. Then you go right to Elon Musk's account. Oh my God. Imagine vote no. This. Move Somebody else write that. Somebody wrote, Don't not me. having a Twitter account I is the single best decision I'll to, ever make. We are down 6.3%. <laughs> or close to 13% total. This is not an insurmountable victory because the left is not making videos at 11 o'clock at night on a Sunday night. They aren't. He works harder than the lefties. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we'll win. Did you really vote yes? Yeah. Yeah, you're off the show. <laughs> <laughs> the reason Elon Musk is, uh, as a CEO Joey is losing this is because of- <laughs> Yeah, no, he's believing free speech. I'm English. <laughs> yeah, right. You don't have free yeah. speech. Why should everybody it's else- It's coming know? home. Freedom of speech is never coming home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Tesla investors who only care, not all Tesla investors, mm. but we all know because we watch Twitter, there are hundreds of thousands of loser this. Tesla investors yes. who only care about their money and who want Elon Musk to step down from running Twitter because all they care about is an extra $4 per share in Tesla and they are garbage humans and I hope they lose all their money. Yes. There are Tesla investors who understand Tesla? the long term, who understand that is it, Tesla is going to continue. Am I wrong here? I don't have the greatest command of language. Is it Tesla? Tesla, yeah. Uh, Tesla. T E S L A. Yeah, I don't got no Tesla. B. <laughs> the premium, the leader in EVs. Like, I know that. Mm. Okay, I am a Tesla investor. I am not <laughs> jocking Elon Musk. Something tells me you don't have enough money in there to fucking bust his nuts. Just, just a guess. <laughs> Elon, please step down as CEO. I need another $12 per share of my investment. No, these people are garbage. They're one stock sallies. Yeah. But that's who swung this vote, just so you guys know. Capitalists, Republicans, conservatives who have the smallest. Can you imagine taking this fucking thing serious? What up, bitch? The shriveliest of ball sacks. That, who, that is who is voting yes. This has to be the most blowhard speech I've ever heard since Bill O'Reilly retired by far. People I think who voted yes and people who just found it funny to vote yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah you ever think of that? Yeah, fuck That's off. That's so serious is not true. Yeah, yeah, if you ever put a vote out that you think is going to be serious, like, yeah. why would you expect that? It's always going to be the, the funny answer. Yeah, yeah, I remember one time like, I used to, I put something, I usually write just like bugs, 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 what? that bugs, bugs, bugs always win. They can say, you yeah. can serious say, and homelessness and United States. Yes, no, bugs, bugs, bugs. It's bugs, bugs, bugs what? every time. Really bad. <laughs> Quoting Brie Larson and Gina Carrera are lesbian lovers. <laughs> I have one foot in the grave. Buy some coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Nick wrote that. A bunch of freaking losers that are worried about making a few hundred or a few thousand bucks mm. off Tesla stock. Yeah. That is who is swinging this account because they're using bots and they are so obsessed with getting ten dollars more a share losers all right I, this I, is what happened like he has no evidence of that what's it well I'm, he's wrong i mean once when companies are publicly traded losers loser okay make You're your a loser a loser and i said it right here. but i see twitter i see all these well, loser man. soy boy That's cuckolds that own a single Look, this stock. Stitch is actually They're like, oh, is I, own, really I own two stocks. I'm basically <laughs> a stock trader. I own Tesla and I own AMC or GameStop. Get out of here. One stock Sally's. Yes. One stock Sally. Bet you these people mostly have inverted nipples too. All right. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> that, all right. Excuse me? I'm not a what joke? Can somebody explain yeah. that to me? Pretty, Am I an idiot? Yeah, is he projecting this or something? What, no, what, like. what does that have to do with anything? Yeah, I know. It's great. Understand. Are, are we missing the point? I don't want to sound like I'm not very nuanced. If you don't have an account, create one. Mm. Elon Musk cannot step down as CEO yes. yet. Yeah, because you've made a ton of dough reporting this shit, shit. And by the way, good on him. I don't give a fuck. You know, I'm not going to sit there and act like I wouldn't do it if I was not money in it. But, if Elon uh, Musk steps down, then the next leader has to have inverted nipples. What is this trending? Trans women are con men. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck was that? How did I miss that? I understand he will step down long term. But if you value freedom of speech, if you value a CEO who will listen, the guy literally responded to one of my tweets today. Oh my and God. And changed his opinion. I linked the last one. Tree. Did you ever see Jack doing that? Oh, Jack's a comedy. If you made it this far in the video, you're probably one of my hardcores anyway. But like this dude little, literally replied to me and changed his whole business model. Oh, wow. What an egomaniac. Well, yes, I know so he well. replies to that loser. 
His long pauses yeah, are Miles worse, Tom. worse than Kepler. Yeah, that's Midwest. But he does listen to people, okay? Who cares? He listens. It looks like he went to the game last night. He probably ruined it. And, and, and like, <laughs> do you look want all, a seat? Look at all these Elon tweets. It's, it's almost like he's like, it's like he's talking about a girl. Yo, yeah. that doesn't do that? Because that's what is probably going to happen. Maybe he has a. When's the last time he fawned over his wife like this? I know a long time because I don't fawn over my wife like that. Fuck like that, Chef. Forty years old, I'm going to die soon. But please, bro, so I can die. Right? <laughs> it's really. Insane. I think Colin tweeted at Elon that's what's that many gonna times. He'd acknowledge me eventually. I mean, Jesus yeah, Christ. Probably. That's what's going to happen. Send him something funny. You if know? you don't vote no <laughs> on his profile, I didn't vote. Does that make me a traitor to free speech? You think Elon Musk <laughs> watched this video and is like, "This guy's more autistic than me"? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Really? Right here. Policy. Oh my God. You see I, that? He's in a thread with Elon well, Musk. Bitch. I get accounts whose sole purpose is to promote other accounts being forbidden, but tell, but telling people they cannot link to their own Instagram is way too far. The same is true for Linktree. I use mine to link to my website, my coffee business, etc., not to compete with Twitter. And Elon says, okay, that seems reasonable. Policy will be adjusted based on that. Do you, do you think you think he would be satisfied with like sending Elon the right way? Like that well, would yeah, be enough. It, no, I gotta make a video on top of it. He's like, he think he kissed the girl for the first time, you know? Well, because because Elon's gonna leave Twitter. He's not gonna be the leader anymore, and, he, and uh, Jeremy can't have that. He was never staying. Ever, <laughs> ever. He was never staying. He's never staying. He should get a uh, Milo Yiannopoulos to run Twitter. Well, that would be hysterical. He did. Uh, Elon supposedly said, "Be careful what you wish for." And uh, like we have seen that Elon does have troll abilities. Like he's like the new Trump. He's like the most hated man on on in the in in the planet right now. Yeah, uh, from, Trump's too busy from, selling from, NFTs. You know, I agree with him. I was like, "Oh, the people that fucking yeah, he's making Trump in NFT." That was pretty funny too. I mean, I like what Elon did too. I think it's fantastic. I think it, I'm more I'm a little more concerned about fucking. You know, an election interference by the FBI that I am fucking some stupid fucking drama horse shit. Whether he's CEO or not, I think he can put somebody in place that has his vision. Because he always can fire the motherfucker the next day. You know, I, I really, I don't know. What are you panicking about? Oh, wait, he's strong. We must, we must. keep Elon in charge. Yeah. Vote now. If you have multiple accounts, vote, I'm vote for my bank account. Is this getting any funnier? I'm, this is getting so pathetic. I can't fucking. I, I think we reached the good. the the peak. Please, I think please. you're so good. So let's let's. You want to look at some? Uh, yeah, I guess he, he had a back and forth with Nick last night, so he got into it with Jimmy. Please, yeah. Jimmy, I can explain. He's already reversed course on this and the most important poll in history. The most what? Oh, he's really drunk. We need to keep Elon a CEO. This is so fucking funny. You and Bobax think I don't see how pathetic you are. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're, like, you, you're making Bobax look like look like Elon Musk. I mean, Jesus Christ. Maybe Papa Keemstar might you see. You know what it is? This is this is the mess falling off. He's a nasty guy, and he gets yeah. mad like me and you. Like he's nasty like I am, right? But he's not as funny or interesting or quick witted. <laughs> So like when he gets he gets he goes nuts. Maybe Papa Keystar might lend him one of your sad low IQ tweets. Ah oh, man, fucking he would just, Nick would destroy you. Maybe he might put you over. Your content is uninspiring, replaceable, and forgettable. Oh come on, dude, you do the news. Get the fuck out of here. Like Nick makes video. Like who who are you kidding? You do the news. Nick actually does research in a video. You fucking make takes. Your take machine. By the way, not much more than what I do. I'll be perfectly honest with you. But I know what Nick does, and I work. You you just make takes. Your content is what we keeps you rolling. It's like your your sparkling personality certainly isn't your good looks. You're a hard worker. You're 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 like you're a hustler that's not very talented. It's not even an insult. It's a fact. He's not talented. What is he talented? Like Mr. Beast, no. PewDiePie. No. Like who's he better? Keemstar even. Tim, Keemstar. Like actually... Tim Pool would be his comparison. Tim Pool is an absolute psychopath. Work. He makes quartering look lazy. Yeah. I wouldn't want to work like that. I does. Probably wouldn't want to work like ordering either. But I mean, who, who are you fucking kidding here, man? You, you make trash, dude. You just go on, you, you fucking hit record and say go with it. That's why you get drunk yeah. and like put that shit out. Like, who are you kidding? Let's get get a hold of yourself, sir. You don't see how pathetic. Well, you know, well, here's another thing too. If you see that Bobax and Nick are pathetic, if that's what you see, imagine what everybody sees you. You're 40 years Rejected old. Like, a little bit uh, with the uh, lying over another like grown tweet. man that just replied to you on Twitter. I can't think of anything more. But like, Nick and Bobax are just goofing on you because it's objectively funny and you might be an alcoholic and that's funny too well, oh nick really got him going i didn't know about this by the way all these were deleted nick i know you think this is some sort of huge own no i think he just said it was funny <laughs> but coming from a terminally obese man who will sell out their friends to suck keemstar's dick your criticism falls flatter than the transition from your neck to your chest you're pretty fat too you're dumb a keemstar dick writer sit down that wasn't very good even Quarter obese i'll outlive you if you keep drinking at that rate <laughs>
<laughs> they quartering like Dick Ride, Ethan Ralph, and all those guys. Everybody. For a while. Yeah. Everybody. By the way, one of the, reasons, the reason he has a fucking the whole thing with the quartering and when when they screwed him on the Magic the Gathering thing, right? Because he fucking did, he came on this show. He, he did everything. Milo, everyone. And then when he got you know when he got up there, he told everybody to fuck off, which is what he's famous for. You know, the only people he ever told to fuck off was Baring and Dankula. I don't know Dankula or Baring, but I've 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 dealt with both of them. I guarantee they laughed at him behind his back. My dad used to go to like work in the Midwest and he used to come back to Jersey and he would fucking just bitch for hours about dealing with Midwestern people as far as like work. It's like they talk fucking slow. They think the Yankees there to screw them. And yeah, you took my grand, you took my granddaddy's farm. You ain't taking me for a ride, Yankee. You know, they got all that shit going on. They're unbelievably, like unbelievable nose in the air, arrogant, staunch, and you fucking can't get a goddamn word out. He used to bitch about a dinner and he's fucking Midwesterners. 100% guarantee this isn't true. Your wife will have a pizza without you sooner. Like you, you, you're not even in the same stratosphere. You can't go to war with him. Jeremy has never, ever been funny. Not a day. The content is funny. People fucking screaming at the top of their lungs going, no! Trump. That's fucking funny. Not him. He just puts it on display for you. By the way, I watch him. I'm not going to stop. Every time I was, oh, that's an interesting video. I watch the first five minutes of it, and then I watch somebody else or read another article. <laughs> read the original article. But no, I, 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 I like Jeremy's content in the sense where I'm in for it, but it's nothing special. It's, it's, it's hard work spitting it out over and over. It's a grind. He's a grinder. Nothing wrong with that. But let's be honest here. It's not an artist. We've received word that at 1244 on a clear Monday morning, a second American Airlines Boeing 767 loaded with 20,000 gallons of just blew, crashed into the free speech town of Square. <laughs> LOL, 5,000 Americans dying in a terrorist attack. Huh? That, that's a pro clutch. First of all, Nick's from New York. I'm from, I'm from the same area. I was actually in the army. I don't know anybody that's a bigger blowhard than fucking you. I witnessed 9 11 with my own fucking eye. We had duster cars in the morning, all right? Nick was like fucking four or five years old. We grew up right around that area. Nick probably knows people that were personally affected of it. Get the fuck over yourself. You're not only pissing that. and fucking moaning about SJWs not being able to take a joke. This is exactly what they do. Ha ha ha. Talking about 5,000 Americans dying in 9 11. Nick was fucking closer to it than you were. Not, not not only that, Tommy, you know, uh, before this, Quartering compared the Elon Musk poll to being his 9-11. Oh, get the fuck so out of here. Is he joke. unironically? Yeah. I mean, like, are you kidding me? You're a joke. This is hysterical. Yeah. You're, you're, I mean, you really should be embarrassed for yourself. I, I mean, I literally joined the army because of 9-11. Like, what the fuck, dude? Like, get over yourself. You, this, uh, I, I'm going to tell you a story. I'm going to tell you a story, right? I, I think I told Joey the story. It's about getting fucking your panties in uproar over nothing. All right. The BBC was going to put out a show about Irish people during the potato famine. It was supposed to be a comedy, a Father Ted-like comedy about the potato famine in Ireland. I'm of, of Irish descent. So I was personally a fucking fed. So I marched down over here in Beesbond to an Irish bar where everybody's Irish, and I pointed it out, and I just went on and on and on, and they looked at me and completely disarmed me, made me feel fucking ridiculous by saying, oh, why don't you wait to see if it's funny or not? And I was like, yeah. <gasps> that's what you need. You need a moment like that. You need a humbling moment like that. Like, get over yourself. Get over yourself. <laughs> I mean, really? Get over yourself! It's not that serious! The fucking goddamn potato famine was 150 years ago! 9-11 was 22 years ago! And he's not making fun- He's not making fun of fucking 5,000 American dyings, you dishonest SJW! He's making fun at the seriousness of how- What you're making this! It's like 9-11 serious! Like, are you nuts?! You are just like your enemies! Like, who, who are you kidding? I just love America more than you, Tom. Get over you! You sound ridiculous! He needs to see this fucking video. What I just said, he needs to see that. Absolutely. And, and like, last time I goofed on him, he tried to swing his audience at me. Go back, it wasn't even hateful. It was just me and Nick laughing at him. Yeah, he's banging it. Was he banging the table over that time? He's banging the table. It, it was, uh, <coughs> I remember somebody got the channel took down, um, and he was fighting for it. And you and Nick and Principal agreed. Like, no, the person get the channel back, and he does do good. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. He's trying, and he was like, he started banging the table. <laughs> Come on, people. You're like, oh, for fuck's sake. No, I can't hear Remember when he did a, didn't he do a video in his car while he was drunk? Yes. 
<laughs> Dude, fucking Jeremy, you're a blowhard. That's what you are. That's your problem. You're a blowhard. Don't be a blowhard. You're 40 years old. 20 year old college kids sound like this. And everybody usually laughs at them. Like, well, I got to listen to that fucking bitch talk about feminism one more time. And like, oh my God, this guy's an ally. Let's get him out of here. I don't want to party with him. That's what you're doing, man. <laughs>